Hi, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aquarius. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys for the rest of the month. For those of you that would like to donate to my GoFundMe campaign, that link is also in the description box below. Okay, so you're trying to stay optimistic about something. You're trying to keep your wits about you. You're trying to be the best version of yourself at this point in time. Because it would seem that your counterpart or your other half or someone that you're focused on that equally matches you seems to be bringing you some stress and anxiety. It probably concerns a family unit as well as friends. So it would seem that you're in some type of lower vibrational energies at this point in time where this person is concerned it could have to do with a relationship or it could be someone that is in your energy field all right but you feel like this person marks you in every way but for some reason it is having a disconnect of some sort Alright, so let's see what's coming true for you guys. Mm. So it would seem that you and this person can't find a common ground to come together. To build anything. And you are making a decision, a very hard one, because it's causing you a lot of stress. To move in a new direction. You have decided what direction you're going to go into. And that is where you're heading right now. <clears throat> this was no surprise here. Could be a Scorpio some of you are dealing with. Or you could have it in your chart. But you knew at some point in time you would have had to walk away from this person. Yeah, because you opened yourself up to them and it would seem that they took advice from family and friends and caused a disconnect in the relationship. Ooh. So you are going to be getting a lot of stability as regards to finances, probably a new contract, a new job. And you're totally trying to ignore this person and this connection. Because you're focusing on your own stability, on having new beginnings for yourself, for standing in the King of Pentacles energy and taking care of you, getting stable, getting grounded, taking better care of yourself. And you're not too concerned with who left you behind or who deserted you when you needed them the most. It would seem that you're moving on without clarity as well. Communication between you and this person is not happening either. But it would seem that you are deciding to move on and let go of what you cannot control and move on with your life. You're doing this with a heavy heart though. You're in love with this person. You saw them as your wish fulfillment at a point in time and it is hard for you to move on from this. You could be connecting to a Sagittarius or you could have it in your chart, but it would seem that it is it is feeling like a piece of you is missing. But you're embodying the Empress energy and you're stepping forward in all your power. Could be a Libra or Taurus you're connecting to, you could have this in your chart. You are deciding to move forward as the bold energy of the Empress. You're willing to take your life into your own hand and become the best version of yourself that you can. 
you're looking for growth potential for your own self and for your own life and you're definitely not letting go of whatever it is you're focused on at this point in time but you are letting go of this connection it is quite difficult for you to do because you have a lot of fond memories with this person you miss this person from time to time there is a lot of nostalgia here could be a pisces some of you are dealing with but you you haven't changed your perspective on the situation it would seem that the best thing for you to do is move on and move forward with your own life. You have finally accepted the truth. You have seen you have seen this relationship for what it is. You decided that there is no great potential. No matter how much you love this person or no matter how much you miss this person, there are other options out there for you. You have finally decided to move forward with your own life and find what is best for you because this person doesn't seem to be the very best thing for you at this point in time. <coughs> Sorry. You're very emotional about the decision that you're making though. Like I said, it is with a heavy heart that you're moving on from this person because you love them. You invested a lot of time and a lot of attention, a lot of money, you know, all these things into this relationship, but this relationship is not going anywhere. And they have never said they are sorry to you. It could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer you're connecting to. That apology that you were waiting to hear from this person, you never did hear it. You never heard the conviction in their voice that they were sorry for hurting you. That they were sorry for taking you for granted. That they didn't appreciate you. You were waiting to hear this, but it never came. So it's like you're moving on without that clarity. And it is the only thing that sticks in your mind, the way this person may have treated you. So you decided to move on without answers. You decided to move on without clarity. You decided to move on without that apology. Could be a Virgo some of you are dealing with. But you still carry this relationship around. You still carry that wrong as a guard around you to not let people get close to you. You're trying to let go of the outcome. You're trying to let go of control issues. But you're still using this relationship as a guard against anyone else. Because you still, with a heavy heart, you're moving forward physically. But it would seem that emotionally you're still having a lot of problems moving on from this person. Because you love them. You want to be in a relationship with them. It could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer you're dealing with. But you want to offer them a relationship. You want to offer them your love. But they are constantly playing games, being manipulative, running around. And they left you with no other choice but to walk away. They left you with no other alternative but to love yourself more than you love them and walk away from the connection. It's difficult for you to do. I see that and I feel that. But they have never expressed to you how much they really love you. For some of you, this person used a lot of emotional manipulation with you. For others of you, this person has never actually said to you they love you, but you felt the connection between the both of you. You felt like this person was your kindred person, your kindred spirit. But it would seem that there is no communication between you and this individual. And you're choosing to move forward with your own life, with or without closure, or with or without clarity. Yeah. Yeah. You're kind of defensive though. You're defensive against other people. You're trying to defend your decision to other people for some of you. And for others of you, some people are just coming at you not understanding what it is you feel or what it is you wanted from the connection. And you have to defend yourself as to the decisions that you made in the past and the decisions you're making now. Hmm. Ooh, but it is a spiritual union could be a Gemini for some of you there is a strong magnetic pull towards you 
towards this person and this person towards you. But there seems to be that this relationship is not really working out. And you are deciding to move forward with or without closure or clarity. There is a lot of love here between the both of you as well. It could be an Aries Leo or Sag. But you find this person to be very attractive. Very outgoing. Very lifelike. You admire how much this person drive or passion or how they do things or how they say things their gestures that is what you are in love with and you wanted this relationship to grow into something you wanted this relationship to become the relationship of a lifetime for you you're waiting on communication from them because you saw them to be your ten of cups or they may be waiting on communication from you. But I think it's more you waiting on them to realize that you are their happy home, their happy life, their happy wife or husband. You are their everything. You're waiting for them to realize this. Because you want a passionate new beginning with them. So you know that you need to let go of the outcome and walk away from it no matter how painful it is. But... It kills you to leave this relationship. You're trying to heal from it and you're trying to move on. Because you know the only thing that you can do is let go of this person and let go of this relationship. And become the best version of yourself. And be the person that you can be. Because it's not working out for you and them. They are not giving you any explanation as to why it ended or how to fix it. It could be an Aries you're connecting to or dealing with. You could have it in your chart. But somebody here is ready to take charge of their life. You have done the inner work on yourself and you have balanced out both your masculine and feminine energies. And though this person may equal you in every single way, I think they are trying to move on with their life as well. But this relationship, this connection, is still something that is very hard for both of you to let go of. Because commitment between you and each between each other is not happening. But there is a lot of love here as to why the relationship is not working. Someone is in their emotions. Could be you, Aquarius. But this relationship broke. But there is still a lot of love here. They are trying to move on from you and you are trying to move on from them. You're waiting for them to apologize and they are waiting for you to come back to them. So it seems like there is a lot of ego happening here between you and them. And for others of you, there is just a disconnect that doesn't make any sense, but it's still happening energetically. You know you need to let go of this person, and this person knows that they need to let go of you. But why? Okay, you would know the answer to that question. Or cross watcher, you would be able to answer that question. But you're both in love with each other. You equal each other. You match each other. It's a spiritual connection. For some of you, this could be a twin flame union. Uh... Yeah, this person loves you. They want to be in a romantic relationship with you. You want to be in a romantic relationship with them. But it's just the separation that goes with a twin flame union for those of you that are twin flames. 
or no you are mm -hmm. but the relationship will come back together eventually but for right now you both need to let go of the relationship and each other yeah the romance will come back the love in this relationship hasn't gone anywhere so it will come back around it is all going to be in divine time and but there is something that you have to learn about the way you love people and the way they love people so it would seem that it is a lesson based on opening up your heart and forgiving people and knowing when to let go so it seems there is a lesson in all of this it may be confusing to you right now but eventually everything will be shown to you by the divine all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good one